And the code word is Firefly. And so we are back. And again, Don and I, this time around, are going to be talking with Miss Bonnie, who is a clairvoyant. And uh, you do hypnotherapy. So mm -hmm. this really sounds uh, real interesting. I'm Thank not you. sure where yeah. to get started. <laughs> you know, well, let me think? ask you, what is the difference between a psychic Mm -hmm. and a clairvoyant. I'm so glad you asked. Um, all mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. Say that again. So all mediums, all mediums are, are psychic. Psychics. It's okay. part of a quality that you would need to possess, at mm -hmm. least as a baseline. Mm -hmm. But not all psychics are mediums. Okay. A medium is a person who sits in between, of course, this world and the afterlife, mm -hmm. and is able to get out of the way, place personal ego and judgment out of the way, mm -hmm. which allows spirit to come in. Okay. And listen. So mm -hmm. it's basically getting out of the way with their own stuff. And really, anybody can do what I do. It just takes a lot of practice. So, for instance, if you're playing tennis and I see you shoot an ace, and I think, well, how do you do that, Don? Right? You say, well, Miss Bonnie, I, I practiced for 20 years. So I've done this for 25 years, and it's become a big part of my life. And a huge joy as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would never happen, first of all. <laughs> I, I play tennis and it's not pretty. But, um, but let me ask you then, how did you find out that you had this gift and this talent? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, as all people, when your children are right about in puberty, that's when all the adrenaline kicks in and the hormones change. That's normally when the gifts come in. So at the age of 14, which was many, many years ago, I was doing radio shows on a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. I was uh, experimenting with clairvoyant things, trying to see what I could see or was able to see. And then a lot of time went by, and then, of course, uh, it regenerated itself, and it was knocking, you know? Okay. And I finally responded. Wow. So. You finally... So you all along you never had any doubt that this thing was real because of course a lot of people you know have some doubts about this but sure. um, you you took this pretty seriously well my mother from what I understand during the war in Holland and Germany and during the war she could hear the planes taking off from England and they would all run to the bomb shelter so I was aware of her ability so fortunately, I grew up in a household where I wasn't, it wasn't put aside or squelched. It was like, oh, that's great. What else did you see? You know, as opposed to saying, hey, let's lock her up or <laughs> <laughs> put her in a special school or something, you know. So when you, when, can you actually talk with the other side? Do you have conversations? It's a mental, it's, it's called mental mediumship. There are many forms of mediumship. But I don't like to get into trans mediumship. I want to have a grip on where I am always, right? Mm -hmm. Just a personal preference. But with prayer and preparation, yes, getting out of the way is very important. And yes, I can, it's a thought, okay? So I allow their thoughts to go into my head. I hear what they're thinking. And I think back, I send them a thought back. Well, tell me more. Give me some more proof. And the purpose of a medium really is to provide proof of life after death. Okay. That's the purpose. Well, let's move away from that a little bit and talk about you being a master Reiki teacher. Is that and Reiki talk master. about what Re Reiki is? Reiki is spiritual healing. It's a hands-on mm -hmm. healing mm -hmm. where the Christ or the Buddhic energy is transferred through the healer, and then the healer receives all the love from the creator that's there, that's always there, it's just a matter of pulling it for them. Mm -hmm. And it's like a big hug, like a big spiritual <laughs> hug. Now you can be trained for yes. this, right? I okay. teach it actually. Okay. I train people. Okay. To do yeah, because I, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with Reiki. Oh, that's so. great. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. So if someone wants to get into this, do they have to have this, this talent to begin with or develop it? Like if you're 30 years old and you say, you know what, I want to do this. Is it too late for them? No, it's never too late. Um, everybody has this. There's a piece of beauty and brilliance and greatness in all of us. It's just what you choose to do with it and the way that you choose to express your mission. And the soul's true mission here is to improve the human condition. So whether you're a nurse or a doctor or a healer or a, an animal uh, caretaker, you're still doing the work you need to be doing. Okay. Anybody can do what I do. It okay. just takes a lot of development. So when you talk about healing, is mm -hmm. it spiritual, is it uh, people who've had bad experiences, or is it physical ailments? What, what kind of healing That's a really great name? question. It comes in with the energy on a spiritual level, and it, the body receives it as love. And the cells in the body, because our cells are all very much alive and living things, <laughs> they, they receive the love on a cellular level, 
which translates to the body organs, and healing can happen. So you do just so much. I'm looking here, a medical intuitive, yes. an astrologer, a hypnotherapist, yes. and a shamanic. Shamanic, manic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato, right? Shamanic, yes. Shamanic, okay. Native American studies. Yes, okay. Yeah. Drumming and chanting. And oh, okay. So that yeah. that that's part of it. Right, and people can let their hair down in those workshops because oh, you get to okay. chant and drum and be a child again. Mm -hmm. A lot of the work really involves just getting out of the way. I, I you know, I'm going to write a book someday that basically just for a healer's book that's going to be called Get Out of the Way, because if we're we're in the way of all this stuff that's up there, we mm -hmm. get in the way. Yeah. We have our left brain, Mastercard, Visa, American Express, you know. Right. All that. Now, I said you have uh, something here yeah. with you, and oh, yes. did you want to yeah. talk about that a little bit? Well, before just we I just wanted to encourage anybody who's looking for uh, whether it's a Reiki practitioner or a healer, reader, whatever you're looking for, please make sure the person has a portfolio. Make sure that they have testimonial letters from people who've been pleased with their work. Mm -hmm. Just like if you were to go to a car dealership, you know, and you say, hey, give me the Carfax report. Mm -hmm. So in this portfolio are over 24 categories of my work with letters that are testimonials from okay. people who've had a really good experience. And so it's important that you have someone that has this if you're looking for guidance. Okay. Okay. And you also do a radio show, correct? Yes, I do actually many radio shows. I have national, global. Um, my voice is heard all over the world now. Okay. So now if somebody wanted to listen to you, um, how do they do that? Well, they can hear me on uh, Finding Voices. Mm -hmm. They can hear me on... Um, Finding Voices, and this is on the, the internet. Radio, on this the is internet. on the internet, okay. not, not out there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the national shows are actually based in California, New York, mm -hmm. the, all over the country. And people locally, like if you pick up, say, WQMX, I was on quite a bit with them, okay. Brian and Joe, et cetera. Yeah. So we can just kind of Google Miss Bonnie, yeah. and then yeah, we'll, you'll we'll, see all we'll about find me. you that way. And I have a website, too, as well. So. Okay. And what's that website? It's uh, Bonnie444.com. Okay. And the three fours is the key signature for the angels, okay. which is mostly what I work with. Well, thanks again so much Thank for you. being Thank on. You. It was a pleasure meeting and talking Thank you. with you. We learned a lot. Yeah, very Thank good. you Thank very much. You. Okay. okay, we are going to take a quick commercial break, and then when we come back, we're going to talk with Adrian Kincaid from Kincaid's Kindred Spirit.